Okay, this is a problem with an O2 Jeep Grand Cherokee where the turn signals will not work, but the emergency flashers will work. It turns out to be a turn signal relay. And so I decided to do it myself. Uh, so I went to AutoZone, told him the description, he could not find it, but luckily if you know the part number or have a picture of it, which I got off of another YouTube instruction video, uh, he'll be able to look it up and find it. And luckily get that in stock. Now, I don't know if my camera's focusing good enough. I know that, again, I think it's a 4686094. Four, okay, of course, it went off the screen, didn't it? But uh, that's the little piece. And so, of course, disconnect your battery before you start messing around with electronics here. But uh, what we'll do here is I'll try to take you to pieces that need to be disconnected. First thing you'll see, I go over to the corner of your dashboard and there's a screw right there. You'll have to take off regular Phillips head. And then uh, go around here. That's just not necessarily in order. But here's this, this piece right here is this it's not held in with any wrenches, I mean bolts, screws. So you just take it and you know jiggle it out and it comes off. So that's out of the way. So that's a good thing. So now we gotta deal with the uh, the the bottom plastic piece right there. We gotta get that off next. So you go up here to the top of the uh, right here there'll be a bolt hole. And I can't even tell if I'm on it right there. Bolt hole right there. I have a Phillips head screw. It's already out. Go get ready to put it back together. And down the other side, uh, I'm getting my thumb in the way or anything. There's another bolt hole right there. I got the light on. Because that's the dash. I mean, that's the steering column. And so they're on each side of the steering column. So then there'll be two more at the bottom of that plastic piece. I'm going down here, so you'll see that. Just to give you some reference, so this will be this piece here I'm trying to get off. So go to the bottom, so it's like underneath. There'll be a bow hole, looks like I have it right there. And of course, zooming back out, we'll have it to the other side. And when I say um, bolt hole, I mean 10 millimeter. I thought American cars were made with, um, you know, the old English type of system, but apparently we've changed over to metric in the United States, or it has something to do with Daimler Chrysler combining with uh, with the Germans and Dodge combining. So there's another bolt on the other side. So you have them four bolts and one screw that I took off first. Four bolts, one screw. And a double jam that comes off. Now get to the fun part. Is uh, more reference here. Steering column. Big old fuse box thing. Okay, you're gonna have to have two screws, which are gonna be right there. And that's of course it's also 10 millimeter. Luckily, it's all the same size. And there's one under this wiry mess right here. There's a, Another one right there, 10 millimeters. So you take those off, and then this fuse box here will disconnect, and will just—it's very tight. It'll pull down slightly, but that fuse box—I just put it back, so I'm—I'm I'm in uh, no great hurry to go pull it down again to show you. But up in here, fuse box goes straight up. It's the biggest square relay. Kind of sticks out it's massive and you pull that out and you put it back in uh, with all them pins I got the old one I think so hopefully you can see that this is the old one pins everything is of course you make pull it out make sure you get it in the right way it's gonna be if you take the old one out you'll have the Chrysler symbol at the top so when it goes in there it goes in like that and so it comes out so we get the old one you don't necessarily have a Chrysler symbol on it, but just make sure your pin patterns match up like that. 
then you'll see the massive hole. Try to when I when take them two bolts out, do try to pull it down some because it's gonna be very, very tight. And then push it back up in there and it uh, should fix the problem.